don't stop. wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> all right, all right, people. This is not the world famous game show. Nope. You know what? This is Street Chiefs and your world famous Chat Street. Yes, and we're hanging out at Odell Deku, Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. All right, right about now, we're going to be treating a very, very important issue. How many millions do you need before you can consider yourself a millionaire? What? Is it one? Is it two? Oh, is it 100 million? Okay, right about now we're going to go on the street and find out what the common man thinks. Yes, your homeboy Kachi is feeling so much like a millionaire. Let's go, people. Cat, 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 cat. What I can say is this, um, you know, true wealth exists in how many people you have helped and not, you know, how much money you've got in the bank, really. So, for you to really take yourself as a millionaire, if you can point to 10 people and thump your chest and say you helped those people one time when they really needed, you are the millionaire. A thousand million. A billion, a thousand million. A 500 million. Why that amount? Because I think at least it will sort a bit of my problem. To me, one million naira is not, by the time you change it to dollars, it's not even up to a um, million dollars. So if you have like 50 million and above, then you can talk of being a millionaire. Well, my taste is high, and um, with 500 million, I think um, I'll be able to do all the things I want to do, and even much more. 10 million okay. is if you invest on stock with 5 million, and you have 5 million in your account, you are still okay with it. Maybe calling myself a millionaire, I can't, maybe, in to talking down of value of the, the, the cash, but what I can just say is that, talking down of uh, assets, we have uh, like uh, 50 million assets. Assets, not as in cash, not as in liquid cash. You can say that I cannot go to a millionaire. Than 10 million standby, that is, that I can talk, that I can do without touching. Then have some more that I can roll into business. I will still have such money on ground though, to walk around with. But more than 10 million on standby, on touch. Before you can fully stand and call yourself a millionaire, you must have what up to 10 million and above. Because the reason why I said this is that people go on luxury cars that are worth more than 3 million. But that doesn't mean that that 3 million, this is a dirty economy, it can go off at any time. But before you can fully invest and call yourself a millionaire once again, you must worth up to 10 million. Well, I've not, I've not counted million before. If God wants to make me a millionaire, let God give me the one that should be okay for me. You can get a million, and Robert will start running after you. <laughs> I don't want too much of money. Let God give me a little one he can give to me. You will see assets looking after you that, how did you make your money? Little one that God will give to me that will not give me problems, what I want. I don't believe I could, you know, have, you know, that kind of money before I could, but I just believe if you have a peace of mind, the biggest millionaire in the world. Um, being rich starts from your heart in your mind and then you can translate it you could be a millionaire without actually really really only like a million dollars as it were i think i'm rich enough to call myself a millionaire well i hit that mark one million i spent one couple i'm no longer a millionaire so i need to have good reserve but uh, a sustainable one one that would continue to multiply at least then i can comfortably say i'm a millionaire cat, 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 cat. to be a millionaire you have to think like a millionaire, as Bassi of Bassi and Company would say. Well, you know what? Your homeboy, Kachi, is suddenly thinking like a millionaire. Are you? And what about our counselor? Ha. Let's drop in and see what's going on. It's important that you and I understand one thing. You do not need even a million naira to become a millionaire. You need as much passion 
that can produce possibilities that would lead you to become wealthy. And what I'm simply saying is, I'm not saying that money is not good. You get money when you've added value to somebody. It's exchanged for creating some value and adding some, you know, offering some service. But one thing is very, very important. If you do not believe you have something to offer, that is where it all begins from. If you do not believe you have something to offer, truth is you cannot begin to attract possibilities. You cannot begin to attract wealth. You cannot begin to attract results. And it is all of this that opens you up to this mindset of peace, productivity, possibilities, finances, comfort, and whatever it is you desire to use the millions that you hopefully would want to have with time. Everybody who wants to become wealthy or rich must be conscious of three things. And these three things are the areas that which people who are wealthy across the globe take very, very seriously. First and foremost, if you want to become a wealthy person, you must be conscious of investments. And investments here could come in in form of stocks. And it, it, it could be, you know, buying of shares. But one thing is very, 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 very key. You must be consistent. There are so many people who start out and stop. They are not consistent with it. Another thing that you must be conscious of if you want to become wealthy is you must make an effort to think of becoming an entrepreneur. Listen, no matter how much you earn from working for someone, the truth is you can never become richer and wealthier than the man you work for. It's not possible. In other words, you must venture into some visionary project, some mission that, that is possibly positive and, and possibly possible to you. In other words, you must be passionate about that which you eventually intend to do. I don't know what is locking within your heart as you're watching right now, but one thing is very, very key. You must be conscious of the need for you to consider becoming an entrepreneur. And there are things that you love doing. That's how you can connect with what you can eventually do as an entrepreneur. Now, that is one way by which you can become wealthy, by becoming an entrepreneur. Thirdly is you can invest in property. You need to realize that those are three steps and three pillars that make for riches and hopefully wealth. You must be conscious of becoming an entrepreneur. You must be conscious of possibly investing in stocks. And you must also be conscious of possibly owning a property of yours. It has been researched and revealed that people who are into stocks, who do investments, who are entrepreneurs, and people who own properties are wealthy people. It's just a matter of time. And like you know, back here in Africa, property appreciates. Who knows? That property you are considering, you know, getting into and investing in could eventually lead to your wealth with time.